Hello again, this is Robert Vichair. This is my video review of the CFAP store. Their 135 amp flux core, 120 volt MIG lift TIG stick 3-in-1 welding machine. This is the 135E and uh, has got Synergic control, which is this knob right here. This is going to control the rate that the wire is coming out and the amount of current that's going to go into the wire. This uses an IGBT inverter electronics which is really important. Uh, that technology is, it stands for Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor. They're high-speed switching devices used in welders as inverters. They convert it to DC and they have all kinds of uh, circuitry in here to prevent overheating, over voltage, over temperature. And this is going to control the rate of that wire. We're going to show you the inside here with the wire. Comes with the wire you're going to need to weld with. And the MIG welder itself. I'm going to show you a little bit about the tip right there because it has some extra tips. And before we go any further, I just want to quickly show how it was shipped. It was shipped the box within a box and everything was properly uh, done to protect the machine. So the finish on this is really nice. I love the yellow color on here. It just looks really high tech. This product gets excellent customer ratings. So this machine has broad compatibility. The uh, MIG 130T is compatible with 0.03 inches, 0.035 or 0.04 inches or 0.8 to 1 millimeter flex core wires and can handle 116 to 232 inch electrodes in the arc mode supporting E6013 rods for welding. Now you can see what's included here. I mentioned the wire and the MIG welder itself and a cleaning brush, 120 volt power input, a ground connection and they're all very flexible wires too which I really like and here is the connection for the arc welding you're going to do, very nice quality, again, very flexible wires. Now, there's very specific positions that you put these in for welding, and they do show you that. They have a quick guide on here that shows you how to quickly set it up, and a basic operational manual also, telling you information about the product. So basically, when you want to do MIG welding, you're going to be putting your MIG welder tip in here, and your little control wires on that part right there and that's going to be the side you're going to have the ground on. So the way these connectors work is they actually rotate in, you light them up, and at some point they'll drop in there, then you just go clockwise. And let's show you the, the mid connection right here. So you have the front part that goes in like this, and again it'll drop in there and turn to the right and lock in place. Then you have the connector right here, and that goes in and it only goes in one way. There's little tabs on there that allow it to feed in the correct way. Just like that. Then you turn the screw and tighten that up. And this is the connection that's going to provide the wire advancing into the tip. And this tip comes off by turning clockwise like that. And I'll show you, I showed you earlier the different tips right there. The wire is going to come out and you move clockwise to put it right back in. Just like that. See it has a little hook on it which is nice, you can hang it. Then you have the feed. So that feed right there electrically tells that connection there to advance the wire that's through here. Now when you're doing arc welding, you're going to set it up a little differently. You're going to put your ground on the minus right there and you're going to put your positive on the arc welding line right there. Now they do show you right here, let's open this up, they do have a little diagram right here and you could see they show the electrode holder on the positive and they show the ground on the negative right there just like I mentioned so you could switch that around but that is a configuration that works best and they also show you on the diagram they show you the connection for the MIG with the ground on the right and the MIG on the left now while I have this open let's take a look at the wire feed right here you got your spindle holder with a spring mount, then you have this right here, you want to undo that. We're going to feed that wire through there, we're going to power this on, and we're going to advance the wire through to the MIG tip. On the back of the unit, you can see it has a nice cooling fan and a really oversized yellow switch, I love that. And here they do give you the currents that will come out to DC currents for the different configurations, the MIG, the TIG, and the ARC welding. So the 135E comes with three different included copper tips. So when that, it comes with it, you turn this clockwise and you can remove this. This is the smallest one. These unscrew and it does come with a tool that you can remove that if you want to. So it has a smaller one. 
Then it has two other larger size tips that can be screwed on also depending on your, how you're welding. Once you tighten this back on, just like that, then you put this back on by going clockwise and it's ready for use then. On the front of the display, when we power this is going to light up and have different values. There's the control rate, the current. This will should come on, that's power. This will come on if you have a feeding error or something wrong with the input power supply. Here is the input current, input air for that fan in the back. Here I have the unit powered on and I have the wire fed. Make sure this is flipped down first, help align it up, and then it'll start going into the actual cable of the tip. Every time you hit the control button right here, you see it advances the motors right there and it's going to be sending that cable into the tip. Now we're waiting for it to come into the actual tip. And there it is. And now I could put the expendable tip on there and now it should be ready to start MIG welding. And there's the tip ready for the MIG welding. So I'm in my workshop and the first weld I'm going to try with the CFAST welder is going to be the MIG setting. I'm going to be using this and I have a piece of metal. It's about 16th of an inch thick and I'm going to give it a try on that piece of metal. I'm going to be using a filter that I just made and this should block out enough of the light so I should be able to get uh, an image of the weld. So that worked really well, and I'm on, I'm on uh, 58, which I just was guessing, could have gone a little bit more, but uh, that made a nice bead right there, and I'm not a professional welder, and it worked really well, I'm using 120 volts, didn't pop any fuses. Now I've got to reconfigure to do some stick welding with the included holder there got a relatively thin rod right here. I'm going to increase the current a little more because it takes a little more energy. This is configured so that the ground is on the minus and the plus is the actual electrode and that's per the diagram that's on the machine. So I had a little too hot right there, so it has a little opening there. But the smoothness of the weld, I'm really impressed with this. You can tell that they're regulating the current and the voltage, the DC current and DC voltage on there as you sweep along. So this is a really, really good weld. I'm very impressed with the quality of this and me be able to get these simple welds and be able to repair anything quite simply with this. So after testing, what do we think about the CFAF store? Their 135 amp flux core, 120 volt MIG lift TIG stick, 3-in-1 welder machine. As I demonstrated, this is a great product. I love the finish of this. I love how small this is, how lightweight it is, easy to move around. This control current handle worked really well. I demonstrated MIG, it worked excellent, and arc welding, TIG, or stick welding worked amazing. 
Uh, I love the simplicity of it and the fact that it comes with the rod that you're going to need and the everything you're going to need to do the welding, uh, stick welding, and MIG welding. Uh, it's all set right here. Everything worked great on this. You can tell they put um, some high quality components in here. So I want to give this product a full five star rating. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.